Hi everybody, in this week's video we're going to tell you about our 96 hour adventure to Singapore where we didn't break the bank on a visit to Singapore. Coming up. We're Chris and Steve, an early retired couple who sold everything to travel the world full time. We share our nomad life, hikes, and vegan eats. Grab our book, Two Carry-Ons and a Plan on Amazon and follow us on social. Subscribe to catch our video every Sunday. Where are we? We are in Kuala Lumpur still, but I'm so excited to tell you about our quick trip that we took to Singapore for New Year's Eve and Chris's birthday. And uh, it, was just, it was just a lot of fun and 96 hours. Chris wrote a blog post about this and we decided that we'd also like to do a video on it. So thank you for being here and thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. I know. Here's a thumbs up too. <laughs> A thumbs up and, and join us every week for our videos. And do us a favor. This week, would you please watch the whole video all the way to the end? We just want to make sure we get, we're, we're telling you everything you want to hear and that you're commenting so we know how to improve our videos in the future. So if you want to see that, that blog post, you can find this the link in the description. It's Eat, Walk, Learn. There's a link in there for all the things we're going to tell you and all the places we stayed. So all the details are in the blog post. But we're going to tell you about the amazing city of Singapore, holy cow, what a place. I, I called it the, the Disney of Asia. Yeah, I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful city, uh, wonderful people, so easy to get around. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little bit of ex expensive. It can be expensive, but we're excited to tell you about how we did it uh, very affordably. And uh, yeah, and, just, and really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. So, so um, one of the things I like so much about Singapore was it's very orderly. Everybody stands in line and there's like order, like it, the, the chaos of Asia is not in Singapore. But anyway, so the first thing we did, we um, actually had points. So we stayed at the Hilton Garden Inn in Little India. And at the Hilton Garden Inn, we actually had breakfast included because of our status. So that took care of some really nice dollars that we could have spent in Singapore. So that made, right off the bat, we were already batting a thousand on saving money in Singapore. Yeah, and it was in Little India, which uh, is not very close to the center of town or close to the, the big populace of all of, of, of the tourists, but it's really easy to get to. Right, so even though we were able to use points, our number one tip for staying in Singapore and saving money is don't stay down on the Marina Bay Sands area. Find a hotel on the outlying sections of the city take the subway in, the metro in, it is super easy. You can just take your credit card, you tap in, you tap off. Super easy to use, super cheap, super clean, super fast and super convenient. So no reason to have a car, no reason to need to be downtown because the, the subway will get you there and save you a ton of money on your hotel expenses. So on our first day, we got up in the morning, did our little bit of um, working out and enjoying the hotel and then it was my birthday, so I told Steve what I wanted to do for my birthday is go down and spend the money to go see the Cloud Forest and the Flower Dome and the Super Trees. So the, if, you, if you buy a combined ticket, you'll save about $30 on the overall price. I think the overall price was 55 Singapore dollars, so Singapore dollars about $1.35 to the US dollar. And so we bought uh, combined tickets for both the Flower Dome and the Cloud Forest and spent probably four or five hours uh, in between the two, right? Yeah, and one of the tips is to uh, to do the flower dome first, first. Mm -hmm. uh, during the day because the, uh, and the, the flower dome is really nice, um, but save your, your energy uh, and the time to do the cloud forest uh, in later in, in yeah. the evening because the lights are cool, the misting and the steaming when they do that is really cool. And they have this whole avatar experience that they're doing now, which was just a, a lot of fun. And we're and not we really even Avatar it. fans, we really enjoyed the Avatar tie-in, and we actually enjoyed the Cloud Force so much, we did it twice. So you, get, you go to the top, you go down the bottom, we actually took the elevator back up and did it again. So really enjoyed that. In between the Flower Dome and the Cloud Force, we got hungry, and we're really in tourist central, and we're like, God, you know, rule number one, don't get hungry in the tourist location. Anyway, there was a Shake Shack right next to the Flower Dome, and we thought, oh, we don't want to walk, you know, a couple miles to get something to eat. And we walked in the Shake Shack and we got two burgers and fries for like 25 Singapore dollars. Yours which was we a, got, a vegetarian a, burger. A, a vegan it? burger. A vegan it was a vegan mushroom. burger. It was mushroom. And we were really shocked that we only spent 25 Singapore dollars for two burgers and french fries at the tourist location in the tourist, like, tourist bill. So, yeah, so that was like 18 US. <clears throat> 
20, yeah, 20, yeah. So anyway, this thought that was, uh, you know, and of course we drank water, we, drank, we carried water with us all around, so that kind of helps on, on expenses too. So at the end of the day, we then went to go see the super trees. So the super trees are the big, we're showing you pictures and everything, but the super trees are free to see. You can see them from a variety of places all around the Marina Bay Sands Resort. We, uh, we were there during Christmas, so some places were kind of closed off because you had to pay extra to go see there, but normally those are not closed, so you can find a really nice place. We went, we found a secret bench behind the visitor center, that's a hint for you, and just sat and watched the super trees. So the one, is, here's another secret to Singapore. All the entertainment that you want to do <laughs> is probably gonna be a light show or a water show. They're, they're in the malls or they're outdoors. They're all free and they're all at night. So if you can figure out, or the light shows are at night. So if you can figure out the schedule of the light shows, all your entertainment will be free and you'll spend your time trying to figure out how to get to the light shows and the, and the, and the water if shows. If you're a night owl in Singapore, <laughs> this city is for you. Yeah. Uh, if you're a morning person, not so much. Yeah, but you know, the shows are like, you know, they start at like seven, eight, nine, so, yeah. and then 10, so they don't go very late. Okay, so then the next day we, um, we're still back up at the hotel. It was New Year's Day, so we just laid around the hotel for the day, enjoyed the pool, and relaxed because we knew it was going to be a late night. So then, when it was time to go uh, down to Marina Bay, we went back down to downtown to the Marina Bay Sands area to watch the fireworks show. Now, we actually purchased a special boat cruise that went into the bay to watch the fireworks because Steve is a firecracker crazy man. <laughs> And he wants to sit right underneath where they're lit. So we had to, we got on yeah. the on the boat. We sat next to the platform. Saw this amazing 90-minute fireworks show with a Japanese fireworks and a laser show and a drone show and, and it just went on and on and on and on. Obviously, that's not a typical thing you're going to do in Singapore on every other night in Singapore. So you can take a river cruise at night. I think it's like 15 or 20 dollars for a little boat cruise to go down the river into the bay. For New Year's Eve, it was a special price, which was not, was, I think, 80 Singapore dollars. It was a big splurge. But the river us. cruise is, is nice, and it's really <clears throat> enjoyable, and it was really a different way to, to see the city. So I highly recommend that you look into that. And if you do drink, we did find on Clark Key, which is where the river boat takes off, where the river boat takes off from, there are happy hour specials up to like 9 o'clock at night. So we were able to get two, um, like, mud, what were they, mud slides? Mud slides. Mud slides <laughs> for, with 10 Singapore dollars a piece. So and that not the alcohol in Singapore it's, is very expensive, but we felt that two mud slides for 10 bucks a piece was you know, a nice treat for New Year's Eve. Yeah, and we, we were celebrating New Year's and we were also celebrating Chris's birthday and uh, it, was, it was a nice treat. Yeah. Okay, so the next day was the Botanic Gardens Day. So the Botanic Gardens are free, uh, amazing facility. You, go, you can take the train to go see the Botanic Gardens. Also, there's the Center for Ethnobotany there. You can go look at the really interesting exhibit on jackfruit and breadfruit. There's an orchid display. It was just, we spent a couple hours just walking around, enjoying ourselves in the Botanic Gardens. Saw a monitor lizard slither on by. That was really fun. And then the, uh, on the way out to the airport is the Botanic Gardens. So from the Botanic Gardens, we hopped on the train and went out to the airport. Now, why do we go to the airport when we want to go to the airport? Why would you go to the airport? <laughs> and that's what I was thinking about all the other people that we were seeing. Nobody had luggage. Uh, people were, had like shopping bags. And because there's a huge mall at the airport and there's the... Um, the, the Jewel. The Jewel. Oh, we forgot to mention the Oculus. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll back, we'll, back, we'll back up that in a second. The it's Jewel is this incredible waterfall light show thing. It's like that, five stories tall. It's just insane. Loved it, loved it, loved so it. It's, so it's an indoor, go to the airport. Yeah, it's an indoor jungle with a five foot tall light show waterfall extravaganza. So just go out to the I mean, if you're at the airport and you have time, go do that. You need probably three or four hours if you're on a layover to do it. But if you're just coming here or there, go to the Jewel. It takes, I don't know, it's probably an hour to watch the Jewel, but you need, if you're going through immigration and all that, you need a couple hours. We forgot to mention that on our first day when we went into town um, on my birthday, before we went to go see the cloud forest and the rainforest, we stopped by the Marina, Day Mall, Marina Bay Sands Mall to see the Oculus, which is another free fall water Waterfall. show that it, it was like the big flush. 
<laughs> it was just really interesting to see. It wasn't as big as the one out at the airport, but just, again, a fascinating show. And it's also something that to take the time to enjoy it from beginning to end. Uh, the, the, whole, the, the whole thing lasts about, what, about 15, 15 minutes? Yeah, all the, every single one of these light shows <laughs> is 15, is 15 minutes. minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, uh, but this one was really interesting with the way the water came down, the way that it was swirling and was, yeah. around, and the way the patterns changed, and the way the, the sounds changed. And there's a, actually a little, like a restaurant with, uh, with tables like all around the outside of it. And we, you know, we got a table and yeah, we got a drink and, you know, yeah, we got, we got truffle snack. fries for like six, six or seven and, uh, Singapore dollars. And, and, and a front row seats, yeah. a nice seat to, to see the, uh, the water show. Yeah. So, so then, um, then the next day after the, the jewel, the next day we, um, we felt like we still hadn't seen the light show at Marina Bay Sands, which is what everybody goes to. So we right. kind of worked, again, another evening activity. So we worked our way backwards from that. We did a little a walking tour of Little India. If you're familiar with GPS My City, I'll put a link in the description. There's these free, fabulous walking tours, self-guided walking tours that you can do. You download it, and then you, you get the navigate. If you, if you have the premium membership, which is like, I don't know, $2 or something, you get the navigation and you can use the navigation without being on your GPS. So that's another trick uh, to how to make something affordable. You don't have to send it using data as you're trying to navigate around. So do GPS my city. Anyway, we did the little India tour and we did went to three different temples, right? Yeah, uh, my favorite was the Buddhist temple with the, I don't know, 85 foot tall golden uh, foot tall uh, Buddha. Yeah. And then and there was the, the secret door that you could go behind you can go underneath and behind him, and there was another Buddha whisper, that was and lying. You could whisper to the lion, the lion Buddha. And, yes. yeah. and then we went to a temple that featured Confucius, and then another a Hindu temple that they're having a big celebration for something. So just fascinating to see the different temples, and then all the beautiful artwork all over Little India, really featuring the, the life and culture of Little India. And then um, we again hopped on the train and went downtown and, and we're looking kind of for the year of the rabbit stuff because that's all launching right now with New Year's, Chinese New Year's coming around. Stumbled actually into little China or Chinatown and we're right. walking around and then we see this restaurant that we'd heard about but we'd forgotten about it. And it's the, the most affordable one star, one Mich Michelin, one star, star, Michelin restaurant. star restaurant in the world and we were walking by it and we weren't even really hungry. We was like, well, yeah. let's see if there's we a to go table. In. You're right, maybe they have a table. And they did, they had a table for us. <clears throat> we went in, we, we ordered uh, you a, know, a, a fragrant eggplant in clay pot and just had, it was really kind of a snack because we had already had dinner. Yeah, and had some nice yeah. tea and, and really enjoyed it. And it's like, yeah, let's go eat at a Michelin star restaurant and just walk in. And, that, and actually where we had dinner, which is where we had eaten many times throughout the week was there's a bunch of hawker stalls all around. So hawker stalls are little one person owned snack bars on the street. Street food. And there's, yeah, street food. So there's a hawker stall near our hotel, hotel in Little yeah. India. And we would go and get like a roti masala, which is like a giant Indian crepe filled with curry, kind of. I yeah. guess that's how you yeah. describe it. For like three Singapore dollars, it's yeah, a meal, a, a total meal. Yeah, a tosai, and, uh, banana leaf, you know, meals, meals and, and stuff, and just cheap. Like we, uh, the most expensive Indian meal we had was with eight Singapore dollars a piece. So, anyway, really cheap foods. If you if you're away from downtown and you're near where the community lives, there's a ton of eating and a ton of affordable eating. So there's no reason to go spend you know, $35 at the Hard Rock for a burger. Yeah, you could easily spend a lot of money on food in Singapore. It, it is, uh, there are a number of restaurants that were, you know, you know quite expensive. And uh, I was just fine, you know, with the, the, not only the street food in Little India, but also the street food in Chinatown. And then this, this, this as Fortune Court was the Michelin star restaurant, I think the eggplant was 10 Singapore dollars or something for the two of us. And it was enough for a, a heavy a heavy snack, I would say, is what it was. Yeah. So then we walked through Chinatown, had a really fun time walking around and seeing all the Year of the Rabbit stuff coming out everywhere. Everybody's buying treats and things for Year of the Rabbit. And then here is the top secret. We should have told you at the beginning to hold on to the end for the top secret of how to enjoy the Marina Bands light show. So they'll tell you to go to Marina Bands, Marina Sands light show. They'll tell you to go to Marina Sands Bay Resort and sit there at the resort and watch the light show. Don't do that. First of all, you're going to pay a ton of money for a drink and you're going to not have a good show. If you go to where the Mer Lion is, so the Mer Lion is the, with the mascot of the of Singapore, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, like a mermaid. 
It's a merlion. But it's a lion, it's a lion so it's a merlion. So the merlion. So if you go where the merlion is, there's some steps there. If you sit there, you get this full, like, 270 view of the show. So you get the light show from the fountains and the lights in the water. And then you have a whole light show on the buildings behind. And then on the Art Science Museum, they have this whole digital light show going on over there. And then the Louis Vuitton building gets all sparkly and does its own light show. Yeah, so lasers see this, coming off the And roof lasers coming off and all this. It's sand. all synchronized. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just, it was a great way to, uh, to watch the, the light show and enjoy the, the, you know, the scenery and enjoy the city. Yeah. So, uh, we, a fun time, uh, our total spend in, it's in the, in the blog post, we list all the money that we spent and the total spend. So, if you take out the New Year's Eve cruise, which was like $165 or something for the two of us, we didn't spend more than a couple hundred dollars for the whole weekend, and that included going to the Cloud Forest and the Rain, the Cloud Forest and the Flower Dome. So, very affordable weekend. Oh, we did buy, uh, we got a Singapore sling. We paid 12 <laughs> Singapore dollars for a Singapore for a sling. Drink. And we found that at a local bar near the hotel in Little India, not downtown. I mean, if you go to uh, the raffles where it was created, you'll pay like $25 or something for a I very it was small. Like 65 I don't know. It's, crazy ridic- it's a ridiculous a price for a drink. Anyway, we did not go there. We went and got it at the local bar and had our Singapore sling and, and called and, and said cheers to Singapore. Thanks, for, sound, ho- thanks for hosting we, us. We sound really cheap. I don't like to sound cheap. I like to, to do things in a really affordable way and kind of like beat the system. And to me, we really did that this, this weekend. Uh, we saw this amazing city, uh, Singapore. I will never forget it. And I can't wait to go back. Uh, so gorgeous and so much fun. So, so, okay, so in the comments, are we cheap, budget-minded, thrifty, frugal, or, frugal, or rich? <laughs> you tell us, what are your comments? Have you been to Singapore? Do you have any questions? What's your best experience in Singapore? What are your questions about Singapore? And what else do you want to know about us? What would you like our next video to be? Put it in the comments. We'll see you next week.